I'm Luther Edmondson. I've got Luther's Grooming in Austin, Texas. We've been in this location for 20 years. We've got a great bunch of people and a great bunch of dogs that we do. We've done dogs for some people for doing their children's dogs and grandchildren's dogs. We do any and all breeds of dogs, even hand stripping. We do a few cats, you know. We enjoy doing all different kinds. We're more than happy to give you out any information that we can over the phone to help you with making your dog a happier companion. A clean dog, I always think, is a, is a happier dog and make you a better companion, and that's one of the main things about it. I've, I've shared sheep, you know, and that's kind of my first experience with, with clippers, and I showed some sheep in, when I was taking agriculture in school, and we've done trims on those sheep showing them then, and which turned out to be we do a lamb trim on poodles nowadays that are similar to how we used to trim our sheep. Also, I've trimmed a lot of horses for one particular for a horse trader that he'd buy these old shaggy horses and real cheap, and I'd trim them up for him, and he could sell them for a good price then. Well, uh, you know, I noticed that you uh, uh, probably could use the trim too. Tell us about why you don't like haircuts. Right. Well, I used to. We got to go to town on Saturday, and there was only one barber shop there, and you had to stand in line. And it cost you a quarter to get a haircut. And I could go to the movie and have a Coke and a box of popcorn for a quarter. So I began to lie and tell my mother that I stood in line and they closed before they got to me. And I was sitting down in the movie, eating popcorn and drinking a Coke. Then finally, at, uh, about 30 years ago, I decided that I was going to quit lying. And so I decided to not get any more haircuts or shaves. So my <laughs> hair hadn't been trimmed or I haven't shaved in 30 years. <laughs> hey, thank you very much. Thank you.